Hi there, it's Umesh Damania, and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the greatest obstacle to your success. So let's start, and let me ask you a question. What do you think is the greatest obstacle to your success? Have a think about it, because it will affect you in lots of different ways. So let's look at it in two different contexts. In the context of a personal relationship, do you think it's down to your looks? how you dress, how you talk to your partner, or how you even chat to a prospective partner. You know, when you're chatting them up in a bar or a dinner party and you know, you're laying on all your favorite lines in the hope that you can charm them. Or is it something else? Could it be your weight? Or even your skin color? What's it for you? How about in business, in the context of business, what do you think is the greatest obstacle to your success there? Could it be your connections, money, being in the right time at the right place, mm, having an MBA, or having a fantastic business idea? Shall I tell you? It's a four-letter word. It's called fear. That's it. Just that little word, fear. In particular, the fear of failure is the single biggest obstacle to success in your life. We can become totally preoccupied with not making a mistake, with not putting ourselves in situations where we might fail, with constantly seeking approval and security from those around us above and beyond anything else. And you know what? Our language, what comes out of here is the first indication that the fear of failure is playing heavy on our minds. Words like I can't or I won't or I'm not able to are evidence of fear, okay? We get that twisting, churning feeling deep inside our bellies. We get a racing heart and we struggle to catch our breath and you know what, our throat feels tight. That fear strikes deeper and deeper and then you suddenly get this irresistible urge and you need to rush off to the toilet. You sound familiar? Because do you know what? We've all been there. And I used to be like that as well. I used to dread making sales phone calls in my old recruitment job or standing in front of others and doing a big presentation in front of 90 people. And you know what? Hand in hand with the fear of failure is the fear of rejection. This is the second major fear that we experience and it interferes with our performance, our interaction, and it inhibits our expression. And this is something that we learn as kids when our parents create this complex equivalence of A equals B. So for example, a certain behavior equals their approval and love. And if we do something that pleases them, then we believe it gives us their love and their approval. And if we do something that they don't like, they withdraw their love and approval, which we interpret as rejection. And that's something that is drilled into our subconscious minds as kids. Do you ever recall your mum or your dad ever saying, if you love mum or daddy, you'll finish your dinner? Or, I won't be pleased if you don't clean up your room, A or B. Again, that type of conditioning causes us to become overtly concerned with what others think of us as we grow older. And it follows us through life like a bad smell, ready to trip us up at every opportunity. And this leads to a situation where the majority of adults at some point in their lives experience both the fear of rejection and the fear of failure in both their personal and their professional lives. Their minds are constantly battling this negative chatter inside their heads. I can't, but I have to. Or I have to, but I can't. And I'm sure you can relate to that at some point. True? Because I know I can. Think of when you may have been on the dating scene and you thought to yourself, wow, that guy or girl looks so fit and I know I have to go and chat to them, but I can't. Or I don't know what to say. What happens if they laugh at me? What happens if there's some awkward silences? What if I'm not their type? Yeah, we've all been there. And I know I have. And it can become really uncomfortable or in the context of business. You know when you can't pitch your business ideas to your boss or your clients or your investors because you're terrified of what they may think of you or what they might say, but you know you have to. That fear of rejection and that fear of failure just paralyzes you. Now, here's the truth. You can eliminate those fears by self-development 
building your self-esteem and how much you really value yourself. And all those things can have a massive, massive impact on you and your life. And more importantly, you have to work on your thoughts up here, yeah? Your fear of rejection, your fear of failure doesn't exist outside of your head. It's crazy, it just doesn't exist in the outside world out there. It's all in here, and yet it paralyzes us. You see, there's nothing stopping you other than you. Developing a stronger sense of self, self-respect, and all those things are really important. Just as much as pushing and encouraging yourself in situations that you'd normally avoid is a brilliant technique to boost your sense of self to such an extent that your fears just subside and you lose that ability to affect your behavior in that way and your decisions. So when you find yourself in those awkward situations, first realize and accept them for what they are and keep reminding yourself that I can do anything I want to. Just keep repeating those words, I can, I can. Whenever you feel that fear of failure for any reason, um, think about it and change it. And just imagine what it would feel like once you've done it. And remember that if it doesn't work out as planned, that's fine, that's just temporary. It just means it's an opportunity for you to learn, okay? And a valuable mantra I teach my clients is that there's no failure, there's only feedback. So you have to work on yourself first. Okay, quick video for you, hope that helps. And just before I leave and wrap up, a couple of questions for you really, or, or requests. Be really helpful if you could click the subscribe button below, so that way you know when I'm releasing my next video. Secondly, just click the like and share buttons below and share them with your friends. Share this video with people that you may know who have experienced this type of stuff. Let them know that we can replace that four letter word of fear with another four letter word, hope. Hope that we can change and we will change. And also, if you've got any comments, drop them in the comments box below and let me see if I can help in any way. Let's start a conversation and let's have some fun on this journey. And finally, if you're really liking what I'm doing on this channel and you want some help, I've got a special gift for you. It's free and it's an audio track that helps you to start creating the type of changes that you're looking for in life. It's free and it's from me to you as my gift. All I need from you is just the best email address to send it to. And there's a link in the description box below. Go to that, pop your email address in and you'll get that, that gift to you within moments. Anyway. That's it for today. I'm going to sign out and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a fantastic day and why not go over this video again? Listen to it, let it sink in at a deeper level. Let's see if we can work together. Take care. Bye for now.